Next, we're going to use the developer portal to create a new project and to, ma and to generate new API keys that we can use within our application. So let's go ahead and first create a project. Let's say we're building a sports betting application. Let's go ahead and come up with a creative name, sports betting. Next, you're going to want to add an API key. Let's give it a description. So for example, we want to build a user interface and we want to, we want to use this API key within our user interface application. Let's imagine we're building you know, a sports betting application and you want to build a user interface uh, and that your user wants to use MetaMask within this user interface and your user interface essentially auto-populates the Merkle proof and so on uh, for those users transactions. So let's just go ahead and give it a name for how you're going to be using this API key. So next you're going to, uh, this would have generated an API key for you. So you can go ahead and copy that and then you can use the layer 2 SDK. You can find a link to this on our website. To essentially, you can put in your API key and this allows you to query the layer 2 API. This is basically querying, getting the same things that you, you, you can get through the block explorer but through an API within your application. So let's say you want to build, you know, sportsbetting.mydomain.com and this would allow you to essentially have an application that focuses specifically on your user case. So typically you're going to essentially want to use this API key to get the specific values and proofs for the keys that you're interested in. So going by our sports betting example let's say we want to get the results of a specific game you would query the API for those specific games and get the Merkle proofs and you can use this Merkle proof directly from your application and that's essentially how you use the umbrella developer portal coupled with the umbrella layer 2 SDK to build a native application that uses the wide number of data and custom developer data that's available on the umbrella layer 2 data set.